Today's dramatic reading has to do with an anime post from 20 years ago this week. It is a rather critical post about Ghost in the Shell and Akira. Now understand that means the first Ghost in the Shell film and the Akira film. That was all of Ghost in the Shell was animated at that point 20 years ago. And we have a post and a response. So we'll start with the original post, and as usual, I'm going to be kind and use only first names here. The topic is, or the, the subject is, Thumbs Down for Ghost in the Shell and Akira by Edward. I had about as much fun watching Ghost in the Shell and Akira as I would have had chewing off my own fingernails. I recognize the innovative techniques employed by both authors and compliment the films for their theatrical prowess. But lines like, I am everything, are reminiscent of theological rhetoric that makes me nauseate. Everything what? Those kind of statements are without literal meaning. A logic error called Faulty Dilemma. A statement that does not exhaust the possibilities, e.g. better dead than red. Not done. As for that boat dream sequence in Ghosts in the Shell, that was about titillating as imagining Janet Reno in a thong bikini dancing to YMCA. It didn't advance the plot any or provide the, the viewer with some profound insight, but served only to hone my fast-forwarding skills. Signature, a link to a Ninja Scroll website. Response from Carl Horn. Now, Carl, I should point out, is a long-standing and well-respected anime fan who decided to respond to this particular post. After it had devolved into talking about Wings of Honey and Mise as well. So I should explain, because he mentions Wings of Honey and Mise as being kind of in the same vein. To me, Wings is the pillar of cloud by day and Akira the pillar of fire by night. I wouldn't hesitate to list both amongst the top 10 anime films ever made. It is unfortunate that Akira's success in America led some to think that all anime should be like it, and that deserving films came, came nowhere near Akira's box office. But that doesn't take anything away from Akira itself. It's an unsurpassed vision of power and chaos, of the end of the world, not hard SF or comedy of manners. Asking that Akira make more sense is like asking the Book of Revelations to stop speaking in metaphors. That is, it's a somewhat misplaced request. <laughs>